way I can tell where to start with my training. So the first poll you should see is it says, are you already a licensed notary um, in your state, whatever state that's, that is? Are you already licensed? Do, 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 do. And while you guys do that, um, I'll just tell you, you guys, if you follow me on social media, you know I had 10 signings yesterday. Actually, it went from 10 to 12 and then back down to 10. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> because I have a hard time saying no. I say no sometimes, but it's just like I can't do it. But like today, there's a lot of signings today. And I didn't take any because I already knew I had the webinars to do and I have other things I need to do. So it's okay. I'm not going to take any um, signings right now. But it was absolutely crazy. Like, <laughs> But I like, I like doing a really busy day like once a week. I don't do like 10 signings a day because that's literally the whole day. And it can be draining. It's a lot of driving. And it's a lot of paperwork. So uh, I wish I would have brought it with me. But if you are in the training, you can see there's a PDF. I'm going to upload a different one that you can look at too soon. But right now, there's a PDF uploaded where you can see loan documents. They're about 100 pages, a loan package. And you have 10 of those that you have to, you know, go through with, with, with every, you know, client. And it's just, it's a lot, I think, mentally. Uh, I've been doing it for so long that... Most times I'm not thinking through it. I just okay, this is your signature name affidavit. You're just signing here that that is your name. You know, this is your note, your payment's here. Da, da, da. So I do it so often, but whenever there's an issue, then it's okay. Well, let's figure this out. When they, like, you, ugh, sorry, if you have a client that has a lot of questions um, or if you have a reader. So that's what we call them. Readers are um, clients that uh, read all the paperwork every single page, okay? Which you have to let them do that. And you never want to look like, oh my gosh, can you hurry up? You don't want to do that. You just be, you know, patient. You know, I always, I have my phone. So I look at my phone, you know, so that, because that, I don't want them to feel like I'm rushing them, you know? So I don't, I don't stare at them like, are you done? <laughs> so I just, you know, let them do that. And I just say, oh, I'm going to close out your order. I need to update this or send in your email, send in your, ID or things like that. But yeah, so I did have 10 closing yesterday. yesterday. Um, and like I said, I do that like once a week. On average, I have about five closings that I do um, a day between three and five. I don't try to go past that too much because I have a lot of other things I need to get done. But I do like once a week to load it on and just, you know. Um, and that's that's really how I make, like I always say my average monthly is about 10,000 a month. Some months is a lot more than that. Um, some months it's not as much. It just depends, especially like December is a slow month. So it just really depends. And it just, and like I was talking to um, one of the other students about um, the signings, Amari, who's also in this training. Amari started this training, um, I don't know, I think it was like December or November. And she quit her job about two, three days, two to three months after. She was a mortgage something she did in, in the mortgage industry and she quit her job and now she does this full time. And so I talked to her yesterday. We were talking about how I had, a, we both work for one of the same companies and I had a question about the company. So I called her and we were saying how busy it was, <laughs> how she's turning down jobs. I was like, I'm turning down jobs. So I was like, you know, anyway, so we're going to get started. Everyone, it looks like it's already licensed, which is good. So I'm not going to go over the licensing Part, I'm going to skip past that. And then as I go through, I'm going to go over some things that um, people have mentioned in like they've emailed me or they social media asked me or asked me on social media. So we'll go over that. If you have questions that you already know you want to ask, put them in the chat and I'll go over them as well. So um, one of the questions that was asked was your notary um, stamp, your supplies when you're OK. So when you get your notary stamp, it has to be your full commission name. Whatever your commission certificate says, whatever they commissioned you as, that has to be what's on your stamp. And you have to sign that. So like, if your name is Jessica Alicia Brown on your commission certificate, you have to put that on your stamp and you have to sign that whole thing. But if you're only commissioned Jessica L. Brown, then you sign that. But sure, it has to match. And I can't stress enough, Virginia is not one of those states. Hey, hey, Bridget. Um, Virginia is not one of those states where um, if you don't sign your full commission name, they won't accept your paperwork for real estate transactions. But a lot of other states do. So you should just get comfortable doing that because otherwise, like say you're you're running and you're doing a lot of closings and you don't realize the prop like you're signing in Chesterfield, but the property address in Georgia or in South Carolina. I think what other ones I know that you have to file your sorry, California, you have to sign your full name. So if you go through this and you sign um, 
get your first and last, and you have a middle initial or a middle name, the docs are gonna get rejected, okay? So really get in the habit of um, signing your full commission name and making sure your uh, stamps is the same thing. So I get my supplies from, and I refer you guys to all state notary supplies, and you can use promo code notary to notary, and I think it's 10% off or 50% off that you get from um, with them for getting supplies that you don't need an embosser if you're in the state of Virginia. No state requires you to have an embosser anyway. Um, some certain states allow it. If you want to do that, stamps are just so much easier. So just get a, like, a, like the standard, just stamp, stamp. Okay. Um, so hold on a second. I want to pull up this do, 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 do. if it opens. It's like a little slideshow, and that way we can. I'm not gonna waste time on it, but if I can't get it open, we're gonna move on. But I want to see if I can get it open. Mm. Okay, that's not all right. Don't worry about it. We're gonna move on. Okay, and so after you get your license, and there's another poll that's coming up, and just want to see who's working as a notary or a signing agent full time. So once you get your license and your supplies, the next thing you want to do is get NNA certified. So once you get your license and supplies, you can just do general notary work. So if you're on different notary platforms or different forums, you'll see where they'll say general notary work or loan signings. So general notary work is like power of attorneys, wills, um, people in your community that just call you and say, can you notarize this? Don't, when I, that's one of the Quickest ways, okay, so I do both. I do general notary work and I do loan signings. I make way more money doing loan signings than general notary work, but that's also because I put way more time and effort into building my loan signing clientele, okay? Um, there are some notaries who don't like doing loan signings. They just want to do general notary work. You can do that, uh, which depends on what you want to do. So that's like if you're doing wills, power of attorneys, things like that, you would market more to law firms and um, that do uh, estate planning. You would market more to nursing facilities, um, hospitals. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that's pretty much the bulk of it that you would market to. Definitely the estate planning, um, law firms and hospitals and nursing facilities. Okay. And that way you can build your clientele from there. And then also have a Google business page because the Google business page, basically when someone looking like someone like me or just a regular person are looking for a notary, they're just going to Google notary near me, right? And then whoever's close to them with the high ratings or whoever has their Google business page set up, right? That's who's going to come up higher on Google. So a lot of people say when they Google me, my name is the first to come up. Why? I'm going to show you my Google business page. Hold on. And I actually, I didn't do this as much as I do now. Um, and I made the mistake when I first got started. So I basically self-taught myself everything. And so I made a lot of mistakes. And that's why I tried to tell you guys the best way to do it. So you don't make the same mistakes, okay? So when I first got started um, in 2014, I had a Google business page. And then I moved like a year later and then I had another Google business page for that address. And then I moved again, like two or three years later, I had another address. So at the end of the day I had, and then I had an office address. So I had like three or four Google business pages and they all had reviews. But if I have five reviews on different pages, now it's not as much as if I took all five and just had it on one, now I have 20, right? So that's what I had to do. I had to close out all of that. And I had just one centralized Google business page. And I just think I had to just learn, you know. So if you move, um, if you do move or you switch offices, just update that page with the new address. Don't make a whole new one, which is what I did. I don't think most people do that, but <laughs> I do that. So uh, I'm going to show you my Google business page. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Chrome tab, Vanessa Terry, notary. So this is what my Google business page is. So basically if someone searches notary near me, let me see if it still comes up if I do that. Oops. If I do notary near me, this is what it is. If I do notary near me and you see I still come up first here and then there's other notaries that are also, let me see if they give you more. Yeah, so Hopo, Hopo. I don't know where that is, but that's a Hopewell service. 
Um, the UPS store is a big one. People can get documents um, notified. Oh, that's my sister, Delrita Banks. That's my sister. I'm so proud of her. I always tell, I tell everybody that I meet, you know, people always think when you're a notary that, and I get this all the time, especially when I do loan closings, they'll say, oh, you're a notary? Uh, what else do you do? I mean, I do other things now, but initially I did it. Like I do this full time, you know what I mean? And like, you can make a lot of money doing this. Um, so then there's more, but she's in Chester, the Chesterfield. Uh, I think this is taking me more different places. But you see how it's showing me like Colonial Heights, Petersburg, Chesterfield. If you're, and this is what's going to come up. So if you, people, people always Google now what they're looking for. Deshaun Branch, I know him. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of him. These are all people that go through my training. And I'm just like, I'm so proud of you guys. I, I haven't done this in a while, obviously. Bridget, is that you? Bridget Hamlin? Is that this, is that you, Bridget, or a different Bridget? So... Just tell me if that's you, Bridget. Signature service, mobile notary, Shauna's notary, sir, Nat mobile national notary, night out. So, and this took you, it took me all over the place. So it looks like it's going Chesterfield. I don't think, it looks like it might have Richmond in there, but basically when people Google someone, this is what's gonna come up. So if you're not on Google to be searched, you're not going to be found, okay? I cannot stress that enough. You can make a Google business page today and get verified in the next couple of days and start getting calls. I don't know if you can get calls before you're verified. So basically, when you make a Google business page, it asks you, you know, for your address and then it, it will mail you a code that you put in to show that you this is where you really are um, and it verifies you. So when you go back to mine, you see I, I have 12 reviews and everyone else has. Oh, she oh the UPS store has a lot because it's a UPS store. <laughs> um, but this one has a lot. PR mobile notary service. I actually never heard of that one. Um, 88 Google reviews. So they probably get a lot more calls than I do. And the thing is that people look at that. People look at your reviews. People say that all the time. They'll say, oh, you came up and I saw you had a lot of reviews and they're all five star. So what I do, but see, now I have a goal. See, now see, he, has, he has 88. I say, hold on. Let me get a hundred. Oh, okay, it wasn't you, it was someone else. Okay, but um, so I'm definitely working on that. I can definitely do better with that. I usually, so this is what I do with, hold on, Cheryl, do I have to list a street address on Google page or business cards from Azure? Okay, so always, um, you can, I always, these are recommendations. I'm gonna tell you what I suggest, but you can do whatever you wanna do. I don't recommend putting your home address on there because people just pop up. Um, at one time, I did have my home address on there. I did have two people just show up and say, oh, you're a notary, right? And you just don't want that. You just don't. I, I don't think. I mean, if you feel comfortable with it, you can. I don't recommend doing it. Um, there is a way I've seen on Google Business where you can select to not put a physical location and that you go to your um, clients. I don't know. I haven't gone through that process. I know we tried to do it one time when we had an in-person class in Richmond to see how we could set it up. But I think it did work. I think. It was one of the students, I wish if I remember who it was, I could see, I can reach out to her. But I'm gonna, I can go through it and see if it does let you do it. I know it has the questions. I just don't know if it will let you be verified without it. So I need to follow up on that and see if you can do it um, without an actual address. So I use, and then I have another student, she just uses the post, a PO box, but she puts on her, um, on her Google business page, it's by appointment only. So people aren't just coming up to the post office trying to get something notarized because it's the post office, right? Okay, so basically this is my Google business page. Well, you can't see it all from here, but it has like my name, my address. When you, um, oh yeah, my phone numbers, they can just call me right from their phone. Um, you can message me on here. I have it set up for my message, but I still need to update my Google business as I'm looking at it now. I didn't, I didn't link my website here. Um, so. I have pictures up here. So you just make sure they're professional. Definitely um, want to make sure it's a professional picture that you put up there. And then what I do is, uh, and respond to everybody when they leave a review. I'm trying to see if it's on here. It's not, okay. So what I do is I have a link on my, um, it's a link that you can, you can send out just that link, taking them to your Google business page, or there's an actual link that'll take them to the actual review spot. And you send, so basically when I meet with someone, I notarize their power of attorney and then we're done. And I say, hey, you now have a Google business page that helps me get clients. I think you found me on there, right? And they say, yes. 
I'm going to send you this link really quick. Can you go ahead and leave me a five-star review so I can get more clients? That would be awesome. If you do it when you're in the room with them, they will do it. Usually while you're in the room with them. <laughs> if you wait and send it later in the evening or the next day or two days later, they're probably not going to do it. Okay? Do it when they're in the room with you. That's how you get the reviews. And then, like, that's the best way to get the reviews. You really want to get good reviews. You don't want people to make fake reviews on your page because Google is really smart. Okay? <laughs> Google is really smart. So basically, even if you have people make fake reviews on there, Google knows that. So basically, when someone searches you and then they call you and then leave a review, Google knows it's legit. Okay? Versus someone just going in there leaving a review. It's, you know, it won't rank you higher. So basically, it's a whole algorithm that Google does. And you can study algorithms for social media. It's a lot to it. But if some, so basically, like if someone goes to your website and they click right off of it, Google will stop referring it to you. So they, they look at people that go onto your website, how long they use your website, if they call you from the website, if they send your message on the website, all that stuff factors into you know, if your business or product is what people are looking for, okay? So you want, really want to get organic reviews, okay? So as you get people who do them, you really want to get organic reviews, okay? All right, so that's my Google business page. Definitely want to set that up. Um, and that is a free page. So one of my other students had an issue. <laughs> Whoa, what did I do? All right, let's just go google.com and then go Google. Oops, my business. So you don't pay for anything, okay? You don't absolutely do not pay for anything. I think it's gonna log me in. Okay, then, okay. This is where you're gonna go. It's free. You put in your information. You make an account. Um, you gotta have a Google, a Gmail to go with it. Uh, you make an account, and then you register. Now, a, a, another student of mine told me that um, Google was making them. Um, buy a domain and buy a domain with something else. You don't have to do that. Okay. Don't buy a domain. Um, that's just a, a website. You can use Weebly or Wix, what I recommend getting started. Cause I always try to tell you ways to get started that you're not putting out a lot of money up front. Weebly and Wix, you could do a free site with them, link it to your Google business page and people can reach you that way. Um, and there was something else. It was, I don't know, something else they were offering that you had to purchase. You don't have to buy anything from Google Business, okay? Set the free page, add all the content, answer all the questions, get it up and growing, get it verified, and you're good to go, okay? Also, big, really big thing. Really big thing is you have to answer your phone, okay? Um, I had another student that she works a lot and she just, you know, she was having a hard time getting jobs. And I asked her, you know, well, do you have your phone with you all the time? You know, and she goes, well, no, she told me that she was missing the, like, like when she would get the text and she would respond, it would say filled already or she would miss the phone calls. And I said, well, that's why you're not getting business. So in this industry, you have to answer your phone. It's no way, way around that. If you don't answer your phone, you will not make money. 